Hello everyone, uh, my name is Julie and I'm an artist who lives and works in Surrey. I'm here in my studio and I love doing art projects with people in the community. Uh, and DAISY, Disability Arts in Surrey, have organised this one. Um, and it's going to be a little bit different uh, because I can't come over there to see you and you can't come here to see me uh, because of lockdown um, but we can do it like this on the screen um, it's a little bit different for me it's kind of brand new for me um, and it might be for you too but I think we're going to really enjoy it so how will it work well we'll have weekly sessions like this where I will video myself uh, telling you about the project um, and explaining what I would like you to do with a few demonstrations on how to do it um, and then you will make the work and photograph it and send it to me. Um, I'll put it all together with the other groups and we can develop the whole thing together. So, uh, what is this DAISY project? Well, it's about regrowth. Um, what is that word, regrowth? Well, I thought of a couple of examples um, to, to explain it. It's like when a man has a beard or some whiskers on his chin and he has a shave and uh, his chin is all lovely, smooth and soft and then a couple of days later he starts getting hair growing from his chin again his whiskers start growing again and he has a regrowth of beard. Um, another example is when you hear on the news um, uh, about forest fires in hot countries where a forest can catch fire because it's so hot and dry um, and very sadly the trees get burnt down but uh, a couple of weeks later uh, you know everything has been left black and sooty but suddenly a little green shoot comes up from nowhere and then another one and then another one and before you know it the forest is all green again with all the trees and the plants uh, regrown and uh, the birds come back and the animals come back and the butterflies and the insects come back so everything kind of returns to normal um, and there is a regrowth of forest and that's regrowth so um, we're going to try and do something like that we're going to make a virtual woodland so a virtual woodland, what is that? Uh, a woodland that we can't go and see for real. We can't go in outside and have a picnic there. It's a woodland that we can only see on our screens, um, our telephones, our iPads, our computers. Um, it's going to be a virtual woodland. And we're going to grow this woodland from all your drawings and paintings and collages that you're going to do each week and I'm going to put them together um, to grow our woodland. I'm quite excited about it. I think it's going to be lovely. So why are we making a virtual woodland? Apart from it being great fun, uh, well, it's because of coronavirus. Um, it's changed things for us a little bit, hasn't it? Um, like lockdown, we can't go out to see the people we normally go to see and we um, can't go to the places that we normally go to. Um, and like this art class, normally I would come over to you to make the artwork, um, but we're going to do it like this, over the screen. Um, and there are other changes that we're kind of getting used to, they're all kind of being very normal now, like washing our hands for a long time while we sing happy birthday twice over, um, and the social distancing um, uh, with people that you don't live with, you have to keep two metres apart, and that's all becoming quite normal to us now. So these are things, uh, 
changes that we want to think about um, and use uh, in the artwork for our woodland. We will make it about all of the changes that we are experiencing during lockdown. Um, you know, we're going to be making drawings um, uh, to put into the woodland, like a tree or a plant. But that tree might be growing something that we're missing during lockdown. It might be um, some masks for the National Health Service or rubber gloves. It could be a, a rubber glove tree. Uh, or it could be um, something to cheer us up when we're missing some the people that we usually see and in fact you might want to de dedicate some of the drawings to those people or it might be um, a bench that we can sit on that you can actually have two meters spaced out for the seats um, a social distancing bench um, so we'll when we're doing the drawings we'll think about and discuss all of those things so this is why we want to make um, a virtual woodland so that we can visit it during lockdown um, and then after lockdown is all over um, we can visit it again and it will remind us of all the changes that we went through um, during lockdown.